seated. Good evening. On behalf of Dr. Gary Hales, the Wayne School of Engineering staff, and my fellow Titan graduates, I, Giovanni Nelson, have the honor of welcoming you to the graduation ceremony for the class of 2021. Before I continue, I must acknowledge the fact that without a doubt, we are the best class to grace the halls of WSC. And I'm sure the staff here would agree. Thinking back on our first day here as sixth graders, we were filled with the nerves and excitement of what lay ahead. Did we ever think that this day would finally get here? Now it seems that time won't slow down. This evening we have all gathered to celebrate. We are celebrating memories, achievements, and honors. We are celebrating ourselves and appreciating those who have helped us along the way. We are surrounded by family, friends, and teachers who have all been cheering for us. And we would like to thank each and every one of you for being here today. Whether you realize it or not, we were all predestined to be here. This very moment in time is one that begins a new chapter for our lives. Today, many of us will part ways and begin a journey that will lead us near and far. Today may be the last day that us, some of us see each other, but this day is not about sadness. Today is about perseverance, triumph, hard work, and sacrifice. Today is a day to reflect upon yesterday, appreciate today, and anticipate tomorrow. As we sit here this evening, take it all in. It is imperative that we remember to everything there is a season and a time to every purpose under the heaven. Today ends one of our seasons, but we have many more to come. Thank you again, and welcome to the graduation for the class of 2021. Good evening. My name is Cameron Wooten. It is my pleasure to recognize our distinguished guests that are with us this evening. Please stand and remain standing as your name is called. Ms. Patricia Burden, District 3, Wayne County Board of Education. Dr. Joseph W. DeMaco, District 5, Wayne County Board of Education. Mr. Wade Leatham, District 6, Wayne County Board of Education. Mr. Tom, J. Tommy Sanders III, at large, Wayne County Board of Education. Dr. Marsha K. Manning, Assistant Superintendent, Student Services and Innovative Programs. Ms. Leslie Rouse, Chief Financial Officer. If any of our Wayne School of Engineering Advisory Council members are present, would you please stand? Thank you for attending this celebration with us tonight. At this time, Isabella Sardina will present our speakers. Thank you, Cam. Um, good evening to the Wayne School of Engineering family. My name is Bella Sardina, and I have the great honor to introduce you to our speakers for today. So, firstly, we have the passionate and genuine leader of the Bible study group called Iron Sharpens Iron, Michael Mooring. Our second speaker for today is the unique, the stylish, and the brilliant Skylar Holland. And last, but certainly not least, <laughs> the well-known common man, the chicken man, the man whose dad feeds your dad, Carter Lewis. Thank you to each and every single one of you for being here for us on this special day. I hope you all enjoy the speeches and the ceremony. Thank you.
ancient Greek philosopher Heraclitus once said, change is the only constant in life. Over the past year, we have more than ever seen this quote come to life. Whether we liked it or not, a monstrous wave of change engulfed us all in mere weeks. There are often both good and bad effects that come with change. I know for me, this change got me out of completing a large project that had been assigned the week before our coronation. <laughs> However, the change also divided us up. It pulled us apart, taking months before we ever saw some of our friends and family members again. Despite the good or bad we could take from this event or any event, change can have a great effect upon a person. Often we can become so grieved by change that it renders us disabled, unable to move on or get back on track. Thankfully, I can look at all of you in encouragement knowing you didn't give up and pushed it out to still graduate this day. Despite reaching this day of great accomplishment, I would like to take just a moment to encourage you for the days ahead. Yes, this has been a different year, and the struggles and challenges shaped us. They molded us in some both good and bad ways. However, I would like to encourage you in your unrelenting pursuit. If I were to ask some of you what pushed you to overcome these challenges, I'm sure I would hear a diverse multitude of answers. Some may say they wanted to get a good education so they'd be prepared for a good job in life. Others may say that so they could make a lot of money. Whatever your reason or purpose for pursuing this great accomplishment, the deep root of why you wanted this moment and diploma is that somehow you thought it would lead to your ultimate happiness. Happiness is a strange thing most of us will look for our whole lives, but yet sadly, few ever find it. We can go from job to job, house to house, spouse to spouse, seeking to find something, anything, to fulfill us. We try friends, parties, drugs, hobbies, you name it, to find our happiness. Once we get one thing, we immediately start striving, looking to the next exciting thing to give us the best rush. Though we achieve happy moments like today, this moment won't last. I know you're thinking, wow, Michael, this is graduation day. Why must you be so somber? And the truth is, I'm not. I'm actually overflowed with joy, despite knowing life will change, challenge, and in fact, even hurt me. The Apostle Paul said, For I have learned how to be content with whatever I have. I know how to live on almost nothing or with everything. I have learned the secret of living in every situation, whether it is with a full stomach or empty, with plenty or little. For I can do everything through Christ who gives me strength. Now bear with me here. I know we're not all Christians nor followers of Christ, and I am fully aware you could care less about my opinion. However, for those that currently understand, and for those that soon will, there is nothing, not money, food, family, relationships, education, nor jobs, that will ever be enough to fulfill all our heart's desire. Instead, there is only one love, born in the midst of tragedy to a people and world who did not want it. This love remained constant, never changing through all trial, persecution, and even unto death, this love was never compromised. The utter innocence of this love was slain for those who slayed it. This love is alive still today for even you and me. We left God and he made a way for us to come back home. And that is through Jesus Christ. So my challenge is no matter where life takes you, and no matter where you end up, take the time for once in the few odd years you have on earth to do what Psalms 34, 8 says. Taste and see that the Lord is good. And now for Scholar Holland.
Good evening. It is an honor to be able to speak tonight. I would like to take a moment to thank our parents, guardians, and guests for supporting the class of 2021. Thank you for all of the times that you have practiced with us and sat on the edge of your seat during our academic competitions, for traveling and cheering us on during our athletic games, and for proofreading our work over and over again. I also want to thank our teachers and staff who have worked tirelessly to help us succeed, nurtured our growth, and challenged us academically throughout the years. We are so grateful for the encouragement, advice, and of course, the letters of recommendation that you have given us. Everybody here tonight has contributed to the success of the graduating class that you see before you. I speak on behalf of the class of 2021 by saying thank you so much. To my fellow seniors, how did it go by so fast? After today, we step out into the world to make our own significant marks on the future. We have future lawyers, interior designers, nurses, doctors, and pharmacists here tonight. We also have the real ability to change the world around us. Our diplomas are simply a passport to unlimited possibilities, not on maps. Embrace those possibilities. Our time at WSC has truly been like a movie. We have had comedy, drama, and of course, adventure and suspense. Embrace whatever life throws at you. Embrace it when it rains on your graduation day. You know, we've been thrown a lot over this last year. But you know what? We've learned resilience. COVID with no toilet paper and a non-traditional senior year, yeah, that might seem a little bit like rock bottom. But when you hit rock bottom, you have nowhere else to go but up. And you also have a solid foundation on which to rebuild. You just have to find the strength in yourself to do so. If there is misfortune in your life, and there will be, use it as an opportunity to find the positive in your negative situation. I've seen this this last year through my teachers as we have all navigated this year of online learning. Personally, I want to thank Ms. Crocta and Mrs. Hobbs for making this last year of online learning bearable. Thank you both. My fellow classmates, I ask you to embrace others, embrace their differences, learn to embrace your roommates and your future coworkers. The world needs more love, and that is how we make a brighter tomorrow. And who doesn't want that? In the words of one of my favorite 80s movies, be excellent to each other. Just think about how great the world would be if we really were excellent to each other. Finally, I ask you to embrace faith. Have faith in yourself and your unique qualities. Have faith that you are exactly on the path that God has set for you. Without faith in something, we have nothing. My fellow seniors, it has truly been an honor to get to know you over the last seven years. Embrace your potential to change the world. I hope that you do, and I have faith that you will. Congratulations to the class of 2021, and thank you all. And now, Carter Lewis. All right. 
congratulations to the class of 2021, and thank you, Skylar and Michael, for delivering two amazing messages. Before I get started tonight, there are a few people that I'd like to thank specifically. My parents, wherever you are, I still haven't found you, for all their efforts into making me into a real man. The Four Horsemen for making us all laugh. Wyatt Hamilton for being positively British. And Hayden Long for guiding me through a low point. And countless others that, unfortunately, I don't have time to mention. Look, I know how a lot of graduation speeches go. There's a lot of funny moments. There's a lot of happy memories relived for good reason. The senior prank, oh Lord, the senior prank, the inside jokes and gatherings will be things that we'll remember for the rest of our lives. It was truly a pleasure, my pleasure, to be there. Yet it's also true that the class of 2021 is a truly unique group. We've had to go through a lot of obstacles over these last few years. Thus, I feel morally compelled to tell you this instead of what you may have been expecting. You are about to enter the real world. I mean, come on, how many people have told you that, right? But the world has changed. It's not the world of our parents or our grandparents. On one hand, we have the most technologically advanced era of human civilization. We also have a spike in suicide rates, despite a surplus of food, raw materials, and avenues of entertainment. Our generation has the most potential out of any other before it, and the most people drifting through life, waiting for purpose to knock on their door. So, what's the secret to success? What's the reason that some names were in the textbooks that we all read together, and others vanish? It's not a complex philosophy. It doesn't even require more than four minutes to explain. Well, that's how long they gave me, so I don't know how else I'll be up here. It's the simple fact that struggle produces glory. President John F. Kennedy said, we choose to go to the moon in this decade and do the other things, not because they are easy, but because they are hard because that goal will serve to organize and measure the best of our skills and abilities. Because that challenge is one that we are willing to accept, unwilling to postpone, and one that we intend to win. And the others too. Kennedy's passion and the efforts of many, many others are responsible for this great nation being the first to land a man on the moon. His words and actions are responsible for a magnificent story still told today. But I know what you might be thinking here. I'm not JFK, and neither are you, and hey, maybe that might work out. So what are normal teenagers to do, normal teenagers, in this ever-expanding world? Simple. Find your moon landing. First, choose something that is hard and not easy. Switch the song, leave the bottle alone, be a beacon of virtue instead of vice. Commit yourself not to this ever-changing world, but to the one that sits above it. Think different, but not like Apple. Don't be mass-produced like an iPhone. Instead, be someone worthy of admiration. Next, choose a pursuit that harnesses your skills. You were masterfully created, distinguished from everyone around you, and if you can run, be the best you can be. If you can write, may your words shape the world. And if you can think, show us things beyond our wildest dreams. Most importantly, though, the moon landing was a challenge unwilling to be postponed and intended to be won. We always call out tomorrow, tomorrow, into the stillness of conviction until we realize that tomorrow is a relative term. And whatever you've chosen, from physical strength to moral purity, it has to be a challenge that you intend to win. I won't lie to you. It will not be easy. Matthew 10.22 says, You will be hated for my name's sake. 
But that's why Pope Benedict XVI said, the world offers you comfort, but you were not born for comfort. You were born for greatness. It doesn't feel right to leave the class of 21 with a question, even a well-crafted statement. We've certainly heard a few of those tonight. No. Tonight, I give you, I give myself, I give everyone here a challenge. Be great. Thank you. All right. Uh, we, the class of 2021, do ask that for the next part of the ceremony, you hold all applause and verbal expressions of any kind so that we and our families may hear each name called this evening. Thank you. We have now come to that moment you have all been anticipating, the awarding of diplomas. As Carter stated so eloquently, we do ask that you hold all applause and verbal expressions of any kind until all graduates have been recognized. It is important that each family member and friend be able to hear his or her student's name. We thank you for your cooperation. Assisting me with the awarding of diplomas are Mrs. Carrie Reese, school counselor, and Mr. Stephen Frederick, mathematics teacher and WSC Teacher of the Year. Giovanni Cromarty Nelson, high school diploma. Cameron Morris Wooten, high school diploma. Isabella Dominique Sardina, high school diploma and associate degree. Michael Marcus Mooring, high school diploma and associate degree. Skylar Marie Holland, high school diploma. Carter Dwayne Lewis, high school diploma, associate degree, and business administration certificate. Paul K. Randolph, high school diploma and associate degree. Paul is one of two students in the entire county to earn an associate degree in engineering as a high school student. Freddie Adams III, high school diploma. The following students are graduating with their high school diploma and associate degree. Mary Evelyn Archibald. Abigail Graceland Barefoot. Hannah Evelyn Cox. Sarah Renee Levan. Hayden Thomas Long. Xavier Deante Odell Lucas. Anna Nixon Miranda. Lizette Orozco Perez. Elizabeth Reynolds, who is the second up in the county to graduate with an associate engineering degree as a high school student. Austin Tyler Ruiz. Fizma William Tanetti. The following students are graduating with their high school diploma. Jalen Isaiah Barnes. Edward Robert Breeze.
Dylan Alexander Brock. Damon Brown. Joshua Sagan Buskey. William Henry Harris Collins. Monica Grace Cox. Samantha Winifred Eovine. Kayla Irene Ute. Annabelle Lee Forey. Wyatt Randon Hamilton. Noah Maston Hancock. Katherine Elizabeth Harris. Taekwon Germain Harvey. Ethan Todd Howe. Aroro Katiti Azizi James. Ashley Elaine Jordan. Megan Lynn Kirby. Jasmine Sadae Leonidas. Gracie Carlia Lewis. Lexton Chadwick Lewis. Danny Morado. Jalasia Deshauna Nobles. Candon Andrew Pate. Kaylee Gabriana Paytech. Haley Jordan Phillips. Marianne Elise Schilling. Zane Elijah Turbyfield. Kirsten Nicole Wildy. Peyton Walker Wilkins. The following students are staying a fifth year to complete their associate degree. Jackson Wyatt Anderson, Mechanical Engineering and Tool Design Certificate. Michael Thomas Kemp. Emma Grace Lane. Haley Gray Lassiter, Mechanical Engineering and Tool Design Certificates. Soraya Alexandra Ortiz. Cassie Leanna Parnell. Brooke Ellen Sauls. Charlotte Caroline Terracani. On behalf of Wayne School of Engineering and Wayne County Public Schools, it is my pleasure as your principal 
to declare you graduates of 2021. At this time, Paul Randolph will lead you in your tassel turning ceremony. Will the graduating class of 2021 please rise? The graduation tassel symbolizes the hard work and effort each of us has displayed over these past four years. With this symbolic gesture, we usher in a new chapter in our lives. Seniors, on the count of three, please shift your tassel from the right to the left. One, two, three. Please remain standing as Trey Adams delivers closing remarks. Good evening, everyone. As most of you know, my name is Trey Adams. I'm going to try to keep this short and sweet, but honestly, I wish we could stay in this moment forever. Who would have thought seven years could go by so fast? Our journey here at WSC began what seems like yesterday. It all started in sixth grade history with a retired attorney named Mr. Pitter. Let me tell y'all, we thought we had signed up for our first year of law school. <laughs> I think we all considered taking Mr. Frederick's advice at some point, dropping out and getting a job. <laughs> As middle school drew to an end, we all came together to cut a rug at the eighth grade Hollyball. Needless to say, the dance floor would never be the same after that night. Before we knew it, we were finally in high school. This brought the infamous state economics competition with the full horseman. And yes, I said full horseman. Shout out to Peyton on that one, yeah. I bet y'all didn't know our school had some of the finest economics scholars around. As time flew by, spring break of junior year approached. Little did we know this will be the longest spring break on record. That is the only positive benefit that COVID would provide. Throughout the COVID era, we may have been pushed apart, but our bond only grew stronger. With light at the end of the tunnel, we came together to pull off one of the best senior pranks this school has ever seen. Imagine 40 kids with endless toilet paper, saran wrap, balloons, and much more. Not to mention the tornado that hit Hale's office. Still trying to figure out how that one happened. <laughs> I'm telling y'all, it looked like a spring snowstorm had arrived on Herman Street. It was the coolest thing I've ever seen. Our years together have truly been the best ride a kid could ask for. In closing, I would like to speak to my fellow classmates. I love each and every one of you. Thank you all for the amazing memories that we have made. I wouldn't trade our time for anything in this world. The sky's the limit for each and every one of us. Each of you have a special gift from the man above to accomplish anything you put your mind to. The time that we have spent together is nothing more than a launching pad for your wildest dreams. Never forget the kid you once were and always strive to make the world a better place. Congratulations, class of 2021. Let's go out into the world and showcase what we're made of. Thank you all.